Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Pop String Crochet. Well, um, I got a few things to tell you. This is going to be my video before we get to see the baby. So you are going to go with me. We're going to check it out. We're going to get to meet him. See how beautiful he is. So I'm going to do this video before I leave. And I want you to... Wait and see what's gonna happen. And I was on a live chat today with Connie with just another stitch. And we were having such a great time in the live chat. And for some reason, I don't know why, it turned into talks about aliens. So I was telling them that I have an ET hat that I got over 20, six years ago so this is E.T. E.T. phone home and I promised him that I would wear it in this video so I just had a few things I wanted to, to share with you I had a little bit of tiny yarn yarn haul and I have um I have a few other items that I wanted to talk to you about okay so let's do the the yarn haul first it's from Hirsch Nerves and they were having um, a Halloween sale. So I figured, well, I haven't tried it before, so I'll, I'll try it. So I got this Halloween. This one is the Halloween Shimmer. And it has, what does it have? 498 yards in this. And if you can see, it's got the silver glitter in there. And again, I think it's awesome that they tag the start so you can get the middle. So I got two of those because you can always use black. And then I got this beautiful yellow. And it's got the shimmer in there too. And I just think that's awesome to have this Halloween yarn. It's not as soft as squishy as most squishy yarns. But it's not bad. I've had worse, but it's nice for a Halloween project or just something cute. And it is, um, this one's called Full Moon, the yellow. And it is 92% um, acrylic and 8% polyester. And then the black one is called Batty. Batty, B-A-T-T-Y. And these are both number fours, and this one also has 498 yards. Then I wanted to try one of these pastry panache yarns. So I got this really pretty green swirly one. And this one is called <laughs> Money Talks. It's a number three. And in this little thing, it has 344 yards. It's 95% cotton and 5% nylon. And it's squishy, not super squishy, but squishy. So that's the pantry panache arm. So I wanted to get one to try before I bought any more. And it's, it's really a nice yarn. It's number three, so it's nice. Okay, and then I wanted to get another Millens because I got white and brown. Everybody else is getting all these pretty blues and pinks. I'm like, come on, I want some color. So look what I got. Just for me, neon green. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten balls in there. Neon green. And doesn't say anything else, but it's beautiful and it's super squishy. So that is a great thing. Then I wanted to show you this. I made, if you can see, I made my first project bag. I sewed it, I crocheted the strings so they're really 
really tight and super good. So you just pull them, pull them, and you got this. So I made this one just for my trip to take my yarn with me because, you know, my baby's sleeping, I'm gonna have to have something to do and Sadie's gonna be sleeping. So I got my yarn bag that I just made. And of course it's polka dot because I love polka dots, which started from the eighties because in the 80s they didn't have tv commercials like they do now where they just say everything before <laughs> it used to be a commercial for things and it was always polka dot and i fell in love with polka dot since then so i love it i'm not gonna sing you the jingle because you might not want to hear that and then i wanted to show you this Okay, it is a wood carving kit. It is a Versatool, and this is for, it's like a wood burning kit by Walnut Hollow. The robber got me, this is a gift. So, I bought some practice wood, and I'm gonna try making a Pups and Crochet sign. Let's see how it turns out. So that's one of my next projects. And he's going to work on it with me. Okay. And I wanted to tell Connie from Just Another Stitch. Thank you for all the shout outs about Pups and Crochet. And just making me laugh. And, and Lisa, she just, she's just makes me laugh they all make me laugh and I'm meeting so many nice new people and they're all just so sweet and the whole yarn community they just support each other they're having fun we're talking about doing the um the ladybird um uh beaded outfit kind of thing it has to be a wearable so we're all doing that which I just started doing my beads because my other beads I didn't like and they kept breaking in my hand because it just was ticking me off, basically. So I was going to give up and then I said, I'm not giving up. This is challenging myself and I'm doing it. So I went today, I got new beads so I could take them with me and I'm going to work on that. Then, let's see. Make sure I have everything, but make sure you really say ET day. We're going to have alien we're going to have alien competition. You got any aliens? Do one. Put it on. You got a cup. Show it. Anything. It'd be fun. Who else got aliens? Okay. Now, I have something from the 80s that I want to show you. And if you're not from the 80s, you probably will not know what this is. So, I'm going to show you this. Okay. Does anybody know what this is? or what this does. And don't be having no dirty minds, come on. Okay, it's fun. It's something you always had in your purse. Okay, and I'll show you what it is. This is called a clicker. And if you look, it's for your hair. So when you had a bad hair day or it was raining, everybody had a clicker, okay? And this is full of butane. You hook that up in there and twist it on, and then you click it. Yeah, it clicks a couple times. This heats up. You got an instant curling iron. Shut it off, cools down, puts it back in your purse. Good to go. But that's what this is butane, curling iron, instant fix with Aquanet back in the 80s. Now, Aquanet, not good. It's too watered down. You can't get your poof. Doesn't work. It, they've changed their thing. It's not any good. So now I use Freeze It. It's in a yellow can. And mega hold. I mean, a tornado could go by. And I won't lose my puff. At all. But Aquanet really made me sad. Really made me sad. Because you live your whole life with Aquanet. And then all of a sudden, they change it. Why they gotta change everything? Why? Why change something that works? Because it gets cheap. Put more water in it, and all it does, you spray your hair, you just get big water bubbles, and then it goes flat. So all that time, for nothing. 
but this is awesome. And then it also has a connection. So if you want to do back of your hair to get it a little more fuller, and then you wrap it up, get your big hair, you know? And my sister brought this up, we were talking about last night. She goes, do you remember when we used to get the clicker? I said, what are you talking about? I still have mine. She goes, well, I said, yeah, I still got mine. So she ordered one. They came out with uh, a new version. So we're gonna see how that turns out. But it's orange, but you know, real clickers are pink, just so you know. Always pink and only by Conair. Conair is the only ones that ever made a clicker. Somebody else tried to make one and it just was not good. The thing, it wouldn't work. But you just, see in, see in there? You just screw that little butane in there, fill it up, you're good to go. And you just click it like that. And then you just, with that on the handle, you know, you got a handle, you do your hair, shut it off, butane goes off, you're good to go. Always had that. And then they had the brush section so you can fluff. Can't beat it. So that was my surprise, which I was telling them I had something to show them from the 80s, but they probably wouldn't know. And then the case. So you missed a lot in the 80s if you didn't grow up in it. And if you don't know what a clicker is, it's sad. I just told you. I just informed you. It's something great to know. You should always know about a clicker. And that way somebody asks you, yeah, yeah, I know what a clicker is. I know what it does. Now you know. So I am off to go see when my new grandbaby's coming in the next couple of days. I will see you back then. And until then, I hope you have a great weekend. Don't get in trouble, don't drink, don't drive. Always adopt, don't shop. I tell you this all the time. And yes, I am a yarnaholic. So if we stop to walk around during this ride, I'm going yarn shopping. Just so you know, check out some different places. I'll bring you with so you can see. And we'll learn together. But always remember, remember what a clicker is. If anybody asks you, it's not a remote. This the clicker. Always. So until then, hugs and puppy kisses. Thank you for all the prayers on her having a safe delivery and a beautiful time. And I love you all. And mwah, puppy kisses. I will see you later. Bye.